What's up guys? It's been a long time since, uh, since I posted a video on YouTube. I've been kind of MIA for a little bit and uh, I thought it was important to make a video kind of talking about why I stopped posting on YouTube. There's been a lot that's happened. I think it's been over a month now. But uh, what it came down to is basically I got a strike on my channel. I got a, I got a DMCA strike on my channel from uh, actually a, uh, it was a smaller streamer who threw out a DMCA claim on me reacting to one of his clips. And it actually got resolved, uh, which is why I'm posting again. But uh, during the time that the strike was active, it basically completely killed the channel in the algorithm, right? There was, uh, nobody was getting recommended my videos. I mean, obviously you guys know I, I stream every day at like noon. Texas time, noon central time. So, uh, you know, people are always in chat being like, oh, I didn't even see this video. I didn't even see this thing get posted. I didn't even know this. And uh, yeah, as it turns out, pretty much, uh, unless you were actively like going to my YouTube channel and you had notifications on, like you had all, no not even personalized, all notifications on, you wouldn't even get it. Well, actually some people said they still weren't even getting notifications, I don't know. Basically, if you weren't going to my YouTube channel, you, you weren't gonna actually see if I posted a new video or not. Anyway, what happened was I got a DMCA strike uh, that is now resolved, so I had to stop posting because it was basically taking every, all the hard work and everything the editors were doing on the YouTube channel and basically like punching it in the nuts. I basically told the team, I was like, guys, let's take a break from YouTube for a while, take some time to, to evaluate, take some time to think about what we wanna do on YouTube, uh, but also I was working on some other stuff with Twitch and with OTK, and, and I'll actually talk about that too. I'll talk about that a little bit too. I just got back from uh, EU TwitchCon and uh, we have a lot of very fun, exciting stuff coming up in the fall, so I'll give a little bit more of an in-depth look at, at, at that while I'm here. First things first, we've been doing Boomer Month over on Twitch. It's been absolutely great, kind of coming to, to a head with Metal Gear, playing Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, and, and now I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 3. And Dude, I, I'm telling you that the experience of playing Metal Gear Solid for the first time, there's so many of you guys have, who have told me I would love these games, and I feel almost stupid for having not played them until now. It has been an unbelievable experience. It is it is fun to play, it is fun to stream, it is meme -y. It's the perfect combination of nostalgia for people who've played the game before, but for people like me who've never played the game, it's amazing to react to. It's like I'm watching a movie. The gameplay is phenomenal. The story, the everything about it, man. M Metal Gear has been has been unreal. All the vods for this stuff is actually over on my S Fan Streams channel, which uh, we'll, we'll link in the description. All my gameplay uh, playthroughs that I'm gonna do from now on, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them over there. So if you guys ever get bored, you guys want to go back and watch some of the stuff, that's all over there. So yeah. So Boomer Month has been fantastic. We just got back from EU TwitchCon. I went solo and that was a whole ordeal in and of itself because I talked about how uh, I wanted to go, but I couldn't go because I had a lot of OTK stuff that I couldn't really talk about, which now I can talk about. You know, as you guys know, I'm one of the owners, one of the founders, <coughs> one of the founders of, of OTK and the the stuff that's that's gone on with OTK and there's still more that again I can't talk about yet but it's very exciting o over the course of the past couple months has been phenomenal right from the games expo to uh, literally uh, we, we just had chance get announced so OTK soda poppin is official yes very good very excited about that very very good friend uh, of all of us I can't express how happy I am. I like words can't do it justice for how happy I am to, to officially have chance as a part of the org. That's actually the reason why <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the reason why I almost didn't go to TwitchCon and it's the reason why I came back so quickly. We went out to this abandoned hospital, which you guys, some of you guys maybe saw the stream. Maybe you guys saw the announcement video. We went, we went to this abandoned hospital and some of you guys have probably already seen the video of the announcement. We were out there filming, not joking, until 5 a.m. We were filming until 5 a.m. the night before I went to TwitchCon. So, and I still didn't, I, I was like, there's no way I can go. You know, I, I would get there the morning of, I'm gonna be beat, I'm gonna be exhausted. Like, I, I didn't sleep at all the night before. And I got home, I got home, it's about 5.30 or something, and I'm watching streams and I see, Canute, I see Jay Streezy, I see Ginny, I see Bonnie. I, I see all these people, right? And everybody's picking up their partner badges. And I'm like, damn, I wanna be there so bad. Like I, I wanna I wanna go to TwitchCon. I, I wanna I wanna hang out with everybody. I wanna see a lot of these people that I haven't seen in years. Uh, some of them I haven't even met yet. But but for a lot of people, like we haven't gotten to hang out because we used to go to conventions and stuff together all the time. But before um, COVID started, I saw these people a few times a year at least. Jay says at one point, 
JJ goes, where is S Fan? S Fan is the convention guy. He used to go to every convention. He would stream everything. And <laughs> and the second he said that, I said, damn it, he's right. And I go to my freaking browser and I immediately I'm like, and I buy a ticket. And I buy a ticket three hours before it's time to fly out, grab a ticket, throw a bunch of stuff in a bag, hop in the car, and I leave. And I fly to I fly to Amsterdam just on a whim. And uh, we ended up having an incredible time at EU TwitchCon. Uh, we made some new friends. We got to see old friends. We had some great streams, and it was it was an absolute blast. It kind of sucks because all that stuff I can start posting on YouTube now, but I really wanted to make this video first. It's hard to have a YouTube channel where you're basically like shooting yourself in the foot. If you have a strike on your channel and, and it's like kicking you out of the algorithm, it's better to take a step back and reevaluate and figure out what you want to do and post again whenever you're ready than uh, just kind of keep force feeding bull crap in, into it and then uh, it's just not good right we'll have some recaps of some of this stuff and it's gonna get posted in case you guys missed it I, I know twitch is like the big thing for me but there are a lot of people that do watch on youtube that don't have time to watch twitch so that stuff we're gonna go back and we're gonna post recaps of that kind of stuff and and show some cool things that we've done uh, over the course of the past month or so i didn't want the editors to be making videos and stuff that were not generating enough revenue to to be worth the time and effort for them to do it they, they all work really hard on this stuff and then it's like you make this really good video and and you know, it's, it's just not getting pushed. Then it's like, I, I, you know, it just, it feels bad, man. Right. So I was like, take a break. We'll come up with a plan and uh, we'll move forward. I, I, I want to make more plans for, for specific YouTube exclusive content. I've talked about it before. People keep asking me about a setup video. I mean, my room kind of seems like a mess right now. Uh, and that's because it is. I'm getting some new shelving. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Canute's coming for Camp Canute. My weight room, my gym, my new home gym that I'm working on it's gonna be badass, but it's not gonna be done for another few weeks. But when that's done, we'll, we'll start doing gym streams again. We'll start doing workout streams at home. Cooking streams are coming up soon. That's that's like Twitch stuff, right? I'm, I'm talking about more YouTube specific content. People always ask about like my retro gaming setup. I wanna do a whole setup and, and show my entire stream setup. The people really know like what all goes into the process. There's been a lot of stuff with like my cameras and you know, this is the, the F-Stop 2.8, 12 to 24 millimeter focal length lens. This is a big boy. There's a lot of like tech stuff that I want to share. You know, I just have like, I literally have just cameras just like laying around now. But a lot of these cameras and stuff that I use, I think a lot of people are interested in. I think a lot of people that watch my streams are into the tech stuff. Not everybody, right? But some of the stuff uh, that, that I do, people are like, wait, that's really cool. I wonder how that works. Cause I'm always trying to find ways to kind of take take everything to the next level production wise and, and try and be innovative and all that. So stuff like that, I definitely want to share with you guys. Just give you guys like more of a behind the scenes look on YouTube from, uh, like what I do on Twitch. So all that stuff's coming. Long story short, I, I, I did want to talk about why, why I stopped posting on YouTube and uh, we're back. Hey, we're back, right? It's good, it's exciting. My thumb's not back. My thumb is still broken. And it does this now, look at this. Ooh, I look worse than normal. But yeah, my, my thumb is still broken, but we're mostly back. And uh, we have a hell of a lot of stuff coming up in the fall. Here, let me give you the quick rundown. After Boomer Month, we have, uh, I'm gonna finish that FC Dallas franchise in FIFA. Basically, we're gonna try and win it all. We're gonna win the Super Bowl with FC Dallas. That's what we're gonna do. Whatever the hell they do in soccer, we're gonna win it. We may do another Madden franchise before Madden 23 comes out. I'm very excited about Madden 23. That's coming out. I'll be doing a PO Box stream soon. So if you guys wanna send something to my PO Box, make sure to send it now. That'll probably happen within the next week or two. We'll be doing some setup reviews. If you guys haven't joined the Discord, discord.gg slash SFANTV. Uh, I'm gonna be doing setup reviews and we'll be doing something fun with that in the next couple of weeks. Like show your, your computer setup and everything. Uh, show some pictures. You'll, there's a channel in Discord about that. Tailgate tour is coming back. Tailgate Tour is gonna to be very exciting. S-Fans Tailgate Tour season two will be coming back. And also there's, uh, it's not official yet, but I'm making some changes to it. I'm working with, uh, uh, we're, we're working with the staff and with the team and a, a new season of Loot Goblins is gonna be coming up, potentially at We Play Studio. So uh, that's gonna be really, really exciting too. So the fall is gonna be nuts. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King is gonna be coming out September 26th, allegedly. They, dude, oh, that's a whole, man, I can make a whole video talking about some wild stuff. So we have a lot of content. There's a lot of games coming up. There's a lot of IRL coming up there's actually a ton more otk stump coming up in the next couple of months that you guys should be staying tuned in for we have guests coming people are going to come visit it's there's a lot of stuff planned for this fall it's going to be incredibly exciting and i cannot wait 
to uh, get it rolling with YouTube, Twitch, everything. So uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. I don't know why you'd watch this whole video. This If you watch this whole video and you're not subscribed to this point, the hell is wrong with you? I mean, how are you this invested without being subscribed? Check out my Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Discord, Reddit. Everything is SFAN TV. And I will see you guys uh, whenever I see you guys. Very good.